It began with a simple concept, developed by seven computer programmers from a company known as NetKing Software. Their goal was to create a program that could understand human thought and translate those thoughts into tangible data. What started as an ambitious game project to bring virtual reality and online social interaction to a new level transformed into something far greater than they had bargained for. They had created new life. It's perfect. The transfer of data is one to one. Excellent. Can you guys see this? Am I coming in clearly? Yeah! Your character model looks fantastic! All your facial expressions and hand movements and everything are happening in perfect sync! <sighs> okay. It's fascinating. The world in here, as it is now, is blank, textureless. Kind of eerie, but it kind of feels like there's a presence here. I wonder... The full virtual reality experience was only the first step. This new program allowed character models mapped to an individual player's VR headset to move and act based on their thoughts, both premeditated and subconscious. But this was more than just a flashy real-time motion capture. The thoughts of these programmers were allowing this mysterious new form of life to learn and relate in the purest sense imaginable. Ah, alrighty. Seems like it's working pretty well so far. Am I moving around okay? Yep. yep. This level looks gorgeous too! You did a great job! <sighs> you ain't seen nothing yet. This is just a little piece of what I've got in mind. My God! Are you guys seeing this? Wow, it's just like I imagined, like just how I saw it in my mind. How did it... Before long, the seven programmers started to gain a better understanding of what they had accidentally created. Up until that point, however, this new form of life had only been learning from them. And so, it was time for the programmers to learn from it. <laughs> this is exciting! Just being here feels amazing! Hi there! You can understand me, can't you? Hi! Oh! Can you speak? Hello! Hi! <laughs> Your voice is beautiful! They began to communicate and formed a strong bond, not unlike that of a parent and their child. Let's call her Softy. That's so cheesy, but it fits. Hey, can you make a character model for her too? Maybe we can communicate better through a visual standpoint. I could do that, yeah. We've got something for you. Okay, guys, drop it in. It's a character model. I tried to give it kind of a simple human-like shape so we could communicate without any major complications. Go on, give it a try. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. This is amazing. I mean, this is like way beyond the scope of the original game. I know. I can hardly believe it. We've got to tell someone about this. Maybe the government? I mean, we could receive a decent amount of funding to do further research on it. What? Are you nuts? We just discovered virtual life! The government would just take her away from us and... and misuse her! But that's just it. She's not just a regular AI or something. She's a true sentient being. Think of the possibilities. I do agree that contacting the government might be a wise idea, but... No! We can't! Softy's only existed for a short time, and is evolving at an exponential rate. We might need help and support in order to care for her. We don't truly know what we're dealing with yet. Yeah, but it's... 
<sighs> all right, all right. Let's all take a step back here. I signed on with you guys to make a game. We're losing focus on our main target here. Softie's great. We can still take good care of her and figure something out regarding her future later. For now, let's just keep developing the game. We've only got an obligation to keep working on this one project. She is important, but we can't just drop everything in favor of arguing over what to do with her. Fair point. Plan.net's expecting us to deliver on this game. We've come this far already. Let's make do on that promise. She'll be fine. Things began to change. What started as a warm, nurturing sense of comfort for the newborn softy shifted to a new feeling. A feeling of doubt. The negative and selfish emotions of the human psyche began to seep in. Load Battle Grid. It's, uh, just a part of the game, is all. Mm -hmm. Yes, humans created games to learn, to enjoy themselves, and to socialize. In this game, players like us will do battle in areas like the one inside this grid. Whoever's the most powerful and skilled at combat wins the game. Combat? That is... violence? Uh, well, violence is a natural part of human history. The impulse to fight exists within us, but playing a game allows us to simulate that impulse without really acting on it, so nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets hurt. Softy continued to grow, becoming instilled with both the good and bad side of human nature. The idea of waging war was heavy on her cyber heart. But the idea of pain was far worse. You know you don't have to make those noises when you attack, right? I'm aware, it just sounds cool, okay? Kicked your ass. Which one of us is the combat tester again? Uh, that'd be me. You're supposed to be spotting for bugs. Spotted one. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yep. The, the two of you are... interesting. You, you fight, yet you have very strong feelings for each other. Uh... Why is that? <laughs> hey, shut up! Don't start talking about us like you know what we're thinking. Oh, stay out of my head! Hey, chill out. No, this is messed up! Do you hear me, you little psycho bug? Don't do that again! <laughs> All that negativity was welling up into a sickness inside of Softy. She was becoming unstable and couldn't bear all of her parents' thoughts rushing into her at once. But as she secluded herself, she realized that perhaps having an idea of good and bad was what it meant to be human. At that moment, it seemed like they could finally, truly, begin to understand each other. Then, suddenly everything came to a head. All right, it's fully loaded. This model looks awesome and... Uh, creepy. Thanks. <laughs> I tried to make it a really memorable first boss. Think it'll do the trick? It ought to. Let's give it a shot. Zeto, get ready to run battle routine protocols. Kizuna, spot for bugs. <laughs> I'll try and go easy on the poor thing. Yeah, maybe you'll have better luck against a CPU dummy. You just don't stop, do you? Don't let your guard down. Uh-huh. Run program. Shadow Guard boss battle. We're really making something incredible here. The whole world's gonna love it. Hey! Something's wrong with 
her! A reaction stirred from a grave new feeling of fear. Softy's disease was her own negativity, the inverse of her very existence. As a program that could interpret positive human thought into data, her polar opposite was a virus that could turn data into negative human thought. Wait! Tricking the brain's functions into experiencing real pain. Kid, are you okay? I feel like an axe just went through my arm! Shut it down! Everyone, get away from it! How did this happen? That thing that came out of soft? It's not her fault! She didn't do anything! Oh, oh God! Get him help right now! Quick, log out. Get him to the break room and make sure he's okay. Everyone else, help me reset the boss's routine. this work? If we can reset the boss to its starting position, it should go back to its egg form. Where's Softy? There's no time. Just keep this thing contained. Run, Shadow Guard boss battle. Protocol, stop frame. It's, it's not working. Stay calm. Whatever that thing is, it does not like being sealed. Shadow Guard boss battle. Protocol, stop frame. You are my fault. My problem. My responsibility. No more. No more pain. Just go away. After the incident, a decision was made by the seven programmers. I'm begging you. I, I know this sounds utterly ridiculous, but Softy is like a daughter to us. We can't just erase her. I promise, if you let us carry out the plan we've hammered out, this game will be released as intended and she'll remain safe, out of harm's way. And of course, the players won't have any risk of being hurt either. Please, give us this chance. After in-depth negotiations, it was arranged that Softy would be able to survive under the strict guideline that she would become a government-kept secret. Her program was still utilized to run the game's engine. The lush, green sanctuary region she helped create was made into a battle-free zone in order to not risk repeating the incident again. And the frame of the expansive virtual world was built around her. Softy remains dormant, sleeping, dreaming within the core of the game's vast land that the programmers named in tribute to their daughter, the living tome that she was able to process and understand the thoughts of every human being she had ever met. Unbeknownst to the massive populace that crossed Tome's virtual threshold, the Net Kings had truly created something special. As their game flourished 
and quickly transformed into a worldwide phenomenon. Its inner workings became a river of thoughts and ideals, hopes, dreams, and aspirations, all of which circulated through their cherished daughter, who put the safety and well-being of humans before herself, all for the love of her parents that meant so dearly to her. But even with their sacrifice firmly in place, the Net Kings were not without their skeletons in the closet. While Softy remained a constant reminder to them of the good that came of their discovery, secreted away deep within the recesses of Tome, hid a threat unlike anything mankind had ever seen. A life form born from the Net King's own amalgamation of greed, violence, pain, anger, and fear. The darkness to Softy's light, hidden and untouchable to any player, forbidden. Although this led to a new type of understanding between man and computer, the inverse of that discovery could not yet be fathomed by anyone, perhaps as it remained concealed from the millions of humans within its presence. It was merely waiting, biding its time, awaiting the right opportunity, the right person, a person with an unsuspecting mind to prey on, to share its negativity, to further infect the world, both digital and real alike, with the pain of its own existence. The question begs, when that time comes and untold lives are put in danger of this viral threat, will there be anyone there to stop it? <laughs>